it's Catherine from CatherinePooler.com. Ever since I got this die set from Penny Black, I've been dying to try this technique. I'm gonna team up inlaid die cutting with wrinkle-free distress. If you are looking for more techniques and tutorials on using die ink pads after this video, be sure you're on the lookout for our technique toolbox, creative uses for die ink pads, class that comes out next week. I can't wait to dive into this technique. This card is going to start out with really simple supplies, two card bases. This is my cardstock cut in half, folded in half. And then I have a four by five and a quarter inch layer, two in white, and then an eighth of an inch larger piece of black. So these will layer on top of each other like this. Now this is a blank slate. You can do so many different amazing wonderful things with this blank slate. <laughs> but this is something I've been wanting to try ever since I got these dies by Penny Black. I'm going to start with making myself a little watercolor palette here. I'm going to do a little picked raspberry, a little worn lipstick, a little festive berries, and I want to get a little bit of purple in there so we'll do seedless preserves. The picked raspberry didn't get on there too much so we'll just add a little more. Now we're going to add some water to it, spray that down. I'm using marshmallow cardstock. If you saw my four cardstock comparison. You can see which cardstocks I like the best for doing watercolor techniques. This has got to be my very favorite technique. <laughs> You can let this dry on its own or you can heat it with the heat tool. And then if you want to keep adding color and get layering and dimension in here you can or you can just do it once. If you want more vibrant colors, add more ink and less water. Now for the next part, I'm going to die cut my two pieces, my scroll and my be mine. I've secured it with washi tape. I mean, I'm using my magnetic platform, but this paper is not flat and my cutting blades are not flat. So I wasn't trusting the magnetic platform to hold them on there well enough. So a little washi tape was gonna help. Okay, so I can see I have a good cut I'm gonna peel this off, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with my white. Next is going to be assembling these, and the easiest way for me, I think, is to use these Sizzix permanent adhesive sheets. I could have also just used regular adhesive or liquid glue and coated the black cardstock with the glue. I have these adhesive sheets on hand, so I decided that they would be awesome to use. I'll just peel the backing off. So I carefully pulled out all the white, and so now I have a blank template. I'm gonna add this to the black piece. So I told you that I had been planning to do something like this since I saw these dies, and now that it's coming together, it is more tedious than I thought, but it's also coming out better than I thought. I love how this looks. So now I'm just gonna take the um, opposite die cuts and fit them in. This is going to be a little tedious and I think I'm already missing some pieces so it's going to be a scavenger hunt through my craft room looking for them. <laughs> I think I'm missing the dot of an eye. I'm missing a little piece from the watercolored scroll. I can always recreate pieces if I need them. All right so now I'm going to get the little piece of the E from the watercolored piece and slide it in here. As I'm piecing this together, I thought you guys might want another peek. Look at how stunning this is. This is such a simple layout and a really simple card, but a fabulous technique that when you give this card, the recipient is going to know that A, you're an awesome paper crafter, and B, you really cared to take the time to make a card like this. I really am digging how this is coming out. I think it looks so beautiful. 
Thanks to Penny Black for making such a cool die cut. <laughs> so here are the finished pieces. The only piece that I lost out of all of this was this piece up here. And it's one of the bigger ones. Is that crazy or what? I didn't even, oh wait, no. <laughs> I lost a little white dot of the eye, but that's easy to fix. I am really loving these two cards. I'm really happy with how they turned out. And it did not take me an hour and a half to put these in, just a few minutes. A little tedious, but it was worth it in the end, I think. I can't wait to give these to some of my loved ones. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and be sure to check out some more videos by moi. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'm so glad you're here. Have a great day.